Chapter 5 The Haunted House Maddie and Mr. Whiskers were always on the lookout for new adventures, and when they heard rumors of a haunted house at the end of the street, they couldn't resist investigating. One moonlit night, the two cats made their way to the old, creaky mansion. Do you believe in ghosts? Maddie asked, his voice trembling slightly. Of course not, Mr. Whiskers replied, though his wide eyes suggested otherwise. Let's go. The front door creaked open with an eerie groan as they stepped inside. The air was thick with dust and cobwebs hung from every corner. As they explored, strange noises echoed through the halls. Suddenly a loud crash made them jump. Maddie's fur stood on end. What was that? Probably just the wind, Mr. Whiskers said, though his tail was fluffed up in fear. They crept further into the house, and to their surprise, they found a group of mischievous raccoons having a party in the dining room. The raccoons had knocked over a vase, causing the crash. Relieved and slightly embarrassed, Maddie and Mr. Whiskers joined the raccoons in their midnight feast, and the haunted house was haunted no more. Chapter 6 The Great Dog Show Escape One Saturday, Maddie and Mr. Whiskers found themselves at the local park, where a dog show was taking place. The two cats watched in amusement as dogs of all shapes and sizes pranced around, showing off their tricks and fancy grooming. Look at those silly dogs, Maddie snickered. They have no idea how to have real fun. Mr. Whiskers grinned. Let's show them what real agility looks like. The two cats sneaked onto the agility course, dodging past the bewildered dogs and their owners. Maddie leapt through hoops with ease while Mr. Whiskers scaled the tallest obstacles with grace. The crowd gasped and then burst into laughter and applause as the cats completed the course in record time. The dog show organizers, amused by the unexpected entertainment, awarded Maddie and Mr. Whiskers honorary ribbons for their performance. The two cats strutted off, tails held high, basking in their newfound fame. Chapter 7 the case of the missing catnip. One day, Maddie's favorite stash of catnip mysteriously disappeared. Distraught, he enlisted Mr. Whiskers' help to solve the case. They questioned the other neighborhood cats, but no one had seen anything suspicious. Determined to find his beloved catnip, Maddie followed a trail of clues that led him to the neighbor's garden. There, he discovered a group of mischievous kittens rolling around in the catnip, completely oblivious to Maddie's plight. Hey! That's my catnip, Maddie exclaimed, his fur bristling with indignation. The kittens looked up, eyes wide with guilt. We're sorry, Maddie. We didn't know it was yours, one of them squeaked. Feeling a bit sorry for the kittens, Maddie decided to let them off the hook. Just ask next time, okay? He said, retrieving what was left of his catnip. The kittens nodded eagerly, grateful for his understanding. Maddie returned home satisfied that the case was closed. Chapter 8. The Fancy Dress Party The neighborhood cats were buzzing with excitement over an upcoming fancy dress party. Maddie and Mr. Whiskers decided to attend as a dynamic duo. Maddie dressed as a pirate, complete with an eye patch and tiny hat, and Mr. Whiskers as a suave secret agent sporting a bow tie and dark glasses. The party was a grand affair with cats dressed as everything from superheroes to historical figures. Maddie and Mr. Whiskers made quite an impression with their coordinated outfits. They mingled with the other guests, enjoying the array of treats and playing party games. When it was time for the costume contest, Maddie and Mr. Whiskers took to the stage. The crowd cheered as they struck their best poses. The judges couldn't decide between the many creative costumes, so they declared a tie, and everyone received a prize. Maddie and Mr. Whiskers proudly accepted their ribbons, grateful for a night of fun and camaraderie. Chapter 9. The Rescue Mission One stormy night, Maddie heard a faint meowing coming from outside. Braving the rain, he ventured out and discovered a tiny kitten stranded on a high branch of a tree, soaked and shivering. Hang on, little one, I'll get you down, Maddie called, scaling the tree with practiced ease. He reached the kitten and gently lifted it in his mouth, carefully descending the slippery trunk. Once safely on the ground, Maddie took the kitten back to his home, where he and Mr. Whiskers dried it off and gave it some warm milk. 
The kitten, grateful and exhausted, snuggled up between them and fell asleep. The next morning, Maddie and Mr. Whiskers helped the kitten find its way back to its worried owner, who thanked them profusely. Maddie felt a warm glow of satisfaction, knowing he had made a difference. Chapter 10 The Legend of Maddie As the years passed, Maddie's reputation as the bravest, most adventurous ginger tomcat in the neighborhood grew. Tales of his daring escapades were told and retold, becoming the stuff of legend. Even Mr. Whiskers, now his closest friend, admired Maddie's fearless spirit. One day, as Maddie lounged in the sun, reminiscing about his many adventures, a group of young kittens gathered around him. Tell us a story, Maddie, they begged, their eyes wide with anticipation. Maddie smiled and began to recount his favorite adventures, from the mysterious squeak to the great dog show escape. The kittens listened in awe, hanging on his every word. As the sun set and the stars began to twinkle, Maddie realized that his greatest adventure was sharing his stories and inspiring the next generation of curious, courageous cats. And so, the legend of Maddie the Ginger Tomcat lived on, bringing joy and laughter to all who heard it. Without my bad mouth, I can sleep without my bad mouth, I can sleep without my bad mouth. 